Hello, everybody, and welcome to the next episode of Darkest Dungeon 2 on YouTube. YouTube, woo, what's up, YouTube? How you doing? Um, welcome on in. Yeah, we are continuing our playthroughs of checking out the new uh, patches to the Grave Robber and the Highwayman. Uh, namely, this is the Infernal Pursuits patches. And today, being the 1st of February, we've gotten another patch for the Highwayman. So we're going over the patch notes now, and then we'll continue into some gameplay um, let's say hi to some people here in chat. Hi, Gummy. Hi, Schilling. Hi, Brewston. Hi, Zeus. Alexander. Swan. Exactly. Hey, YouTube. If you want to be a part of this and be able to say hi to yourself in the future, just come over to the, the Twitch stream. So you can interact with me, even though I'm about to cough. And then you have to listen to me cough. <coughs> you guys have to listen to me cough anyway, because I'm not editing that out. Anyway, so Highwaymen, uh, we were just talking about this. Wonder, double cross, double cross plus. Now ignore block. I like this. I think this is a good change. I think it is part of the main utility of this ability, particularly on Wanderer, where he needs to be able to be flexible between back and front ranks. Uh, double Cross and Double Cross Plus no longer apply Vulnerable. So this is the downside to it, right? If you want the Vulnerable, you're going to have to get that on... Um, I think that's on Yellow Hand. It still does the Vulnerable, right? But removing Block is still really potent. Um, that is a very powerful thing. So you just don't get the additional value of removing... or of giving Vulnerable, too. Um, and they now clear all block and block plus on the target. That's the same thing. So anything that's going to ignore tokens is generally going to remove those tokens as well, at least one of them, but it actually removes all of them. So that's really good utility. I like that. Um, they're fixed an issue. Uh, double cross plus has the correct crit chance of 10%. Okay. Take aim cooldown. Uh, this is on the non upgraded version of the ability has had the cooldown decreased from three to two and the crit reduced from two to one on the non upgraded one. This makes sense to me. I don't know why they gave two crit unupgraded. It was just very powerful for a non-upgraded ability. Um, and yes, yeah, stream is fun as heck. Ooh, God, we got some fighting words exactly of a Twitch thing that Twitch users are better than YouTube users. Interesting. Um, and then take aim now removes all blind when unmastered as well. That's good. I think that's thematic to the ability. Uh, and Wicked Slice has had its execution re reduced on the upgraded version from two to one. Don't know how I feel about that. Um, I guess they kind of want to put the executions on the um, into the, the paths themselves. Um, and we're unleashing the cats. So, uh, oh, yeah, there's a, now a hot cat. You guys have a hot cat you can spam now. So enjoy that. Uh, that's a new one that we added. Um, uh, OK, all right, chat. Huh? <laughs> huh? <laughs> oh, it's so much better. It's so good. <laughs> and it's breaking and slowing down. Oh. Amazing. Oh, that's golden. <laughs> that was a lot of. Ca I think adding even just one to the All chain of things. Please, thank you for the resub. I appreciate those it. Those who cross the threshold with coin Seven in months. hand. That's crazy. The huck hat is me about these changes. I think these changes, for the most part, make sense. I'm interested. We'll we'll take a look in the yellow hand. Um, okay, guys, I'm trying to read the patch notes. Uh, okay, I will do the spin after the patch notes. We gotta get through the patch notes. We gotta get through patch notes, all right? Remind me to do the spin, chat. Remind me to do the spin. Um, oh, you redeemed a game giveaway, did you? Uh, I'm sure I can see it. Oh, God. Oh, fuck. I fucked something up. Uh... Where is the game giveaway? I don't. Oh, there it is. Okay. All right. I'm going to complete all. One sec. I have to fix this now because otherwise this is going to come back to bite me in the ass. Uh, ha, <laughs> huh, cat. Uh, this skips the queue. Okay, cool. All right. Cool. Uh, I redeemed it. Yeah, yeah. It was messy. Little. So no, don't worry about it. That, that was on me. I. Uh, okay. So we'll do the game giveaway and we'll do the spin after the patch notes. All right. Let me get through the patch notes. Please. Thank you very much for the resub. I appreciate you. Genuinely, I appreciate all the support. Thank you so very much. 
All right, so that's that's the wonder out of the way. Let's talk about Rogue. Very little changes done to Rogue. Um, Duelist Advance repost uh, on the plus version reduced from three to two. Um, probably fine because Rogue can generate uh, repost, so he didn't really need the three to two uh, or the three repost on plus, just the additional damage. Um, Duelist Advance now grants one block plus instead of two block. Um, I'm okay with this change. So it goes from block to block plus instead of two block tokens. I think probably mathematically that evens out. Um, but I'm not quite sure exactly how that all pans out. Hey, Pate, thank you for the last. I appreciate it. So I think that's fine. I don't think that's a big change. I think I think it's it's fine. Um, take aim. Okay, so take aim now grants the repost per round effect on base. Don't need the upgraded version of that. But to get the damage buff, um, you need the mastered version, right? So I think that makes sense. So like now you you don't have to upgrade take aim to get the value of it generating a repost and making him kind of this like repost dealing like brawler character in the front that's doling out a lot of like backlash damage. Um, it's you for you to get that additional damage though. The plus 20, I think it's plus 25%. You need to upgrade it. That makes sense to me. This is the big hit, though, was the Wicked Slice no longer applies combo on hit. So I believe this means um, it's it's obviously harder for him to apply combo. I will say, and I think the reason that they did this um, was most likely because of the fact that he does apply combo on his repost. And he's supposed to be reposting a lot with this, this kit. So I think they... They're taking away the like guaranteed like I can apply combo on this enemy in lieu of it being more of a like I'm giving out combo a lot. I think it's a percent chance for it to apply on the repository. I think it's guaranteed. Um, I don't know if that's true or not. I have to do the data mining on that. Um, so interesting. And then Wicked Slice gets the execution of two. I think this is just to give it more value on on Rogue. Um, to kind of make it feel a bit more deadly. That's why they reduced it on the Wanderer again to give this more character. Overall, I think these changes are fine. I think they're I don't think they do anything super negative. I just think they give Rogue a bit more um, identity, particularly between like unupgraded and upgraded versions. Um, Sharp Shot has had like no changes. Uh, these are basically just issues that um, that that, that it had with Double Tap because Double Tap is like new and the game doesn't really know what to do with it. So it's just some like bug ch updates. Pretty much it. <laughs> And then um, yellow hand. So highway robbery. This is the big one, right? This is the big change. A lot of people didn't like the highway robbery had the debuff resist removal or pierce um, debuff, whatever you want to call it. So they have changed that. They no longer highway robbery no longer reduces the target's debuff resistance. Instead, and it no longer increases the highwayman's debuff resistance. Instead, what it now does is it applies a minus ten percent dot resistance on all dots to the target for three turns while giving him an increased dot resistance for three turns um i like this theoretically um 10 is maybe a little low i would maybe like to see it be like 10 percent unupgraded and like 15 maybe even 20 percent upgraded but 15 would be nice um just to again give us some kind of like variance between unmastered and mastered but this is the first thing in the game, I think, that can remove uh, or lower the dot resistance on every of all dots. So this is applicable in every region with every team that uses dots. If you're going to the Fetter and you have Blight teams, you can use the Highwayman to reduce Blight resistance on like the baby or any of the enemies that have really high Blight resistance. You can do this to reduce the bleed resistance on the Leviathan. Like, and 10% is big. Like, if you can land 10%, that drastically increases your chances. Um, re reduce all dot resist? No, I don't think so. He has a chance. Does Malediction reduce dot resistance? As far as I know, I think it just applies dots. I don't think it reduces the dot resistance. But I may be wrong on that, Meow. If I am, then, then um, don't quote me on that. But I don't think he has another ability... On upgraded, upgraded it does. Okay, thank you. I appreciate that. Um, okay, yeah, but again, the, I will say, I mean, okay, so cool. It's not the first time we've seen this. I don't use malediction very much. Um, but I will say this is more, uh, it's just easier to access, right, early on. You don't need to have the power tokens to have malediction, right? Um, that being said, you could probably run both of the, like, the both of them 
and use this to great effect. You could use Highway Robbery with Malediction to get really good Malediction procs. So that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I didn't know that Malediction did that. Obviously, I, I'm unaware. But on command, Val needing mastery is nice. I do, I do wish that it had a lower version and a higher version. I would even, yeah, I wouldn't want it to go down to five percent unupgraded and ten percent upgraded because I think ten percent is like the base, like the bare minimum that it should do to make it feel like it has a real effect. Like five percent is too, too little. It, I mean, it would help obviously, but it like mentally, like just from a player standpoint, I would be like, it's not doing anything, so I'm not going to click it. Um, ten percent is enough for me to feel like it's doing something. Uh, all right, so works well with Yellow Hand being bleed path better than debuff. Yeah, it works better with it with that. And I'm starting to see that Yellow Hand is less that it's a bleed path, but it's more of a setting up bleeds path. And that's fine. And it also now sets up other dots. Like, um, I'm fine with him kind of facilitating other heroes to get the dots to land because dots are very effective. And there are a few times where, like, that little bit of dot resistance can make a big difference and you want it to land. So um, combined with heroes who have increased like blights and burn chances like arsonist and alchemist, those are probably going to change, though. Right. I would imagine that those blanket piercings are going to change and probably be built into abilities like bloodlust is probably going to get like plus bleed piercing or sorry, if it doesn't already, it might already. I don't know. I don't use bloodlust. So 2000 hours in this game, by the way. Um, all right, so let's talk about Wicked Slice. Um, overall, Highway Robbery, I think it's a good change. Uh, definitely a better change. I don't know how it's going to feel until we play around with it a bit. Um, Wicked Slice and Wicked Slice Plus have been reworked to better facilitate Yellow Hand's role as offensive support. Um, I don't think anybody's used Blood. I, I use Bloodlust when I don't really want to upgrade... Um, when I don't really want to move Hellion and lock her in by using toe to toe, I'll use Bloodlust to remove the winded. That's about it. But I, I can digress about that for a long time. Yeah, we don't have mastery for toe to toe, right? Um, all right. Um, Wicked Slice and Wicked Slice launch ranks have been increased from uh, to hit the front three ranks. This is huge. This alone makes Yellow Hand much more viable. Hitting rank three from rank one is one of the hardest ranks to hit um, from rank one. In fact, I um, realistically speaking, I think it's what uh, uh, Runaway and uh, Mana Arms that can do this. Um, he can use it from rank three now? No. Uh, oh, launch ranks. Sorry, you're right. My oh, God, I'm misreading. You're right. Launch ranks have changed. Still, this is really good. Uh, OK, that's less good than I thought it was, though. Yeah, you're better. You're right. I'm dyslexic, so excuse my brain shutting down there. Um, okay, it's good still. It can hit. Can it hit rank three? I don't think it can though. But it's still good. You're right. It's still good. It gives. It allows you to put him in rank three and actually have him dealing damage. Um, hey, Blackwell, how's it going? Uh, bleeding classes go from up front to yeah, exactly. Leaves more space, yeah. I think I think really the it facilitates more team combinations while allowing you to deal damage, which is good. Though the damage has been reduced, I don't know why they reduced the damage. I really didn't feel like Wicked Slice dealt that much damage to begin with. I mean, like I don't know, four to six, five to eight is still okay. Um, um, it can apply combo, and it has a guaranteed chance to apply combo on crit. Those are both nice. Uh, it's probably, yeah, you're right. It's probably the combo. I think really what this is boiling down to for me is understanding that Yellow Hand isn't really a primary damage dealer. He's a setup character, right? I will say the nice thing is like this allows me to play him with like Leper pretty effectively and not have to like do the whole PBS dancing thing, which I didn't really like personally. Um, so I feel like this is definitely kind of a, it's a setup hero. He's about facilitating other heroes doing damage and things um and i think like carcass i'll probably end up liking this path a lot more once i change my mentality of how i'm playing this guy um in this path specifically uh and then wicked slice no longer ignores block when the target has bleed i think that's fine i don't think that was a great utility anyway um i i do like the whole like if target has like specific dot you can do specific thing with them 
um, with the Crusader. I think it's a fun mechanic. Uh, I would see that being maybe more relevant on like the um, Berserker, uh, which she kind of does have with Bloodlust, right? She does more damage on bleeding heroes or bleeding enemies. Um, but I think that it could be better built into her kit than it would on on Highwaymans. Um, and then the other fixes here is added localization for this update in all remaining supported languages. Um, what this tells me is that we're actually getting pretty close to this coming to retail. This is usually the last thing they do before they push an update to retail is getting the uh, localization because they won't push to retail until localization is done. So since localization is pretty much done, um, my guess is that probably no later than next week we'll be seeing this on retail which tells me that this is probably one of the last updates we're going to get on this um and that they're pretty secure that this is this is the update um yeah no love for open vein i am a little sad about that um i think open vein and wicked slice both kind of hit that issue of feeling very similar and not really having enough identity um like no path really wants to use open vein like, all the paths want to use Wicked Slice now. Open Vein just doesn't feel like it wants to get used on any path, even Yellow Hand. Um, like, yes, it can deal a good amount of bleed, and if you're synergizing with a bleed team, then yeah, with, like, Highway Robbery, maybe. But I don't like using Highway Robbery to set himself up for his own Open Vein. I don't know. It just... Yeah. Um... Seems interesting. Might need some number adjustments, but I think it's about... I think it's better, yeah. And I... Yeah, I agree, Meow. I think... I, I hope that they take another look at this, but I... I get a distinct feeling that this is probably what we're going to be seeing, at least um, something within this form and then with some slight adjustments. How I feel about rogue changes? I like the combo. I do like the combo, but I, uh, my, I agree that because of his ability to generate combo on repost and the fact that he can generate repost now on this path, unupgraded, like he doesn't need the upgraded take game to do it, I think he's still pretty reliable at giving out combo. It's just slightly unreliable where that combo is going to go. Um, they nerfed the Buster Rogue Duelist Advance giving five tokens. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Um, Duelist Advance uh, now just doing the single block plus. I think that works out like pretty much to the same thing almost, um, but it feels a bit better. So I'm cool with that. Um, and then, the, yeah, I don't mind the one less repost because he can generate reposts like very effectively. Um, it's almost like he's almost always going to have repost on him on this path. Um, so if you can utilize that well with like on hit effects and using the combo and stuff, I think it I think it'll work pretty well. I think thematically, they've really kind of given Rogue some good identity. I think even Wanderer has good identity with the fact that like I know that some things have been a little nerfed, but everything feels what Wanderer does well and Highwayman has always done well on Wanderer is he feels good in every position with any abilities. Um, and that's that's the power point of Wanderer Highwayman. Super flexible. So you can build a team, throw him on there, and then just kind of build around him no matter what. Like, whatever he gets, you can make him work. And I think that's really useful. Sharp Shot, I think, feels pretty good. Um, double Cross got shafted hard. On Wanderer it did, yeah. But again, like, I understand why that's the case. Like, it still removes... Now it just removes the block entirely. Um, I don't really care that it lost the vulnerable because again, that identity is given to Yellow Hand, right? Yellow Hand has the the block and vulnerable, and that at least gives Yellow Hand some identity on that sense. So, I, 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 you know, I want the pass to have identity, and I think that that does a decent job of doing it. Um, so yeah, overall, I'm I'm pretty happy with this. I I agree that they've made some good changes. Um. You guys, you guys want me to click on the super secret uh, test channel? Should I click on this? Should I should I break my NDA and click on this channel? Um, but yeah, overall, I think this is a I think this is really good. Uh, I do I do I do agree that I th I think Yellow Hand still needs some work, um, but I think the other paths are feeling pretty good. Break NDA, break. There's nothing in there. It's probably some testers posting memes at each other. Um, you sh you sh the best thing about being in the test chat is that we can post memes and almost guarantee that the devs are going to see them. That's the real juicy part of that. Uh, it's the part that really pays off. <laughs> Maybe the combo on Yellowhand could be a bit higher. 33% is low enough that I don't know how I feel about it. Can't really use him 
for consistent generation for the leper. Yeah, um, I still think it's pretty decent. Um, again, you can also lean into his crit chance. I mean, the 100% chance to apply on crit, if you can get a way to generate crit on him, that's really good. Um, but this also suffers from what I think PBS suffered from with the combo, and I'm glad that PBS doesn't apply combo generally, because my issue with PBS is that it usually just eliminated like uh, a lot of targets, and so I couldn't really use the combo that often, especially with Leper, who's another huge hitting character. I kind of like the idea of the combo being like a lower damage ability that sets somebody else up for the big hit, but <laughs> people still feel, I think people will definitely agree. I think it definitely will be the least used. There's always going to be a least used. There will always be a meta path. It's just, it's just, I mean, like, this isn't StarCraft, you know? I don't think we're going to be able to get the balance perfectly. Um, but I think it's definitely a move in the right direction. <laughs> it makes Berserker good. We can, we can hope, right? We can absolutely hope. So, yeah, something, something, take, yeah, you can take aim into it, yeah. Um, but I'm, I'm concerned about the amount of damage on it, but at least it's still not as potent as PBS, where it just, like, kills the enemy. Um... It's pretty fly. Maybe like 50, 75% even on base, though. I wouldn't mind it being like like 33% unupgraded and 50% upgraded. Again, I, I really like the distinction of giving the mastered version more character, right? It doesn't need to be guaranteed, but a coin flip still makes it a hell of a lot better, you know? So, all right, that's the patch notes. Um, nothing else to really talk about there, so let's get into the game. Um... Oh, you can see my background there. Let me go ahead and turn this off. Good thing I didn't have all my darkest dungeon porn up right there. Um, <clears throat> yeah. And I'm going to minimize this, pull up the game. Going to vouch for days and open vein for a change. That could be pretty good. Especially, I, I could feel that being good on like upgraded. That would make the upgraded version feel really good. <laughs> Oh yes, thank you. All right, we're gonna we got a game giveaway and we got a spin. So let's do the spin. See how that goes. Uh, that is a spicy bean, and I just ran out of the good spicy beans, so I'm gonna have to eat one of the crappy ones. Um, these things are really stale. All right, so got jalapeno here. Oh, that's stale. Ah. Oh, it's really spicy. BB is the PP Poo Poo Man. Ugh. Ugh. Albert, man, that's an old command. That no longer applies. Swan's a real OG knowing that command. Damn. Um, here you go, Swan. Just for you. Here he is. The man, the myth, the legend. Albert. For those of you who are new here, which is pretty much everybody, this is like OG stream. This is Albert. And uh, he used to be a big part of our stream. He has since retired. Him and his brother Jesus have retired. Um, so yeah, Jesus is the other one. And there's a third one, too. I can't remember what we called him. Um, man, that was spicy. All right. I'm going to open up a game giveaway. This is for a random Steam key. Uh, and uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and do that. Anybody is welcome to join. Exclamation enter for a chance to get in. I'm going to get some water because... Oh, wait, wait, close giveaway. Sorry, sorry. That's not for the Binding Blade DLC. Not for the Binding Blade DLC. One sec. All right. Open the giveaway. Reopened. Re-enter. Exclamation enter for a chance to get on there. Hey, Marvin, how's it going? Welcome on in. Uh, is this beta? This is beta. This is beta, Marvin. Um, all right. Re-enter. If you already entered, re-enter. I'm going to get some water because my mouth is on fire. I'll be right back. Don't do anything stupid in the meantime, chat. I'm watching you.
Somebody unleash the cats, Marvin. That's what's going on. All right, the cats are done. All right, let's begin a new expedition. I said stream. This is what chat decided. Yeah. Huh? On and on. Huh? On. Huh? Over huh? And over. huh? Until the truth is laid Hey, there. Cyclops, how's it going? Just back my and second four and a half hour drive in 24 free. hours. Oh my God. Oh, I'm glad you made it safely. Um, welcome home or home, wherever you are. Remember the bleed resistance in one. Don't know about having that in two, but honestly could help the path like Surgeon Virtuo. So yeah, Bastard's Beacon Gaming. Pause, chap. We may do we may do some Beacon Gaming or something. Ugh, man. Uh, they also made some changes recently to um. The Once new the trophy for the of what hope yet uh, for the baby. And they now made it so that the blight on your hero is only a percent chance to apply, not a hundred percent chance, which is really good. Uh, Johnny, uh, does anybody know how Night Sworn Pirouette was changed? Night Sworn Pirouette was failures, changed so that um, by them. it uh, what is it? It no longer applies days or week to the grave robber but you can no longer do the thing where you applied if you were stealth you could give the days and week to the enemy that's the difference um so it's gonna to release the memes i guess that one is not oh wait the meme release one is no longer an option oh yeah release the memes is no longer an option that one's been dead for quite a while yeah It ignores block now. Is that what it does? It ignores block. I can't remember. Let me let me double check the patch notes. I have them upstairs still. Um, hacker man. Yeah. He's the most powerful hacker of all time. Uh, da, 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 da. yeah. It, it doesn't say in the patch notes, which is really annoying. Immobilize and HP trophy are the worst changes. I think. Uh, I don't think the immobilize trophy is a bad change, personally. I think that was definitely a um, a busted emote, or a bust busted emote, a busted uh, trophy. It needs a little help. Uh, five rounds is still plenty long. It's just not useful uh, in long boss fights. But uh, the HP trophy uh, was also busted. Those those two were guaranteed to get nerfed, in my opinion. They were just too good, like way too good. You can almost always guarantee a win if you had the if you were smart of how you played them. Um, all right, somebody pick an act. Three. Shelby says three. Wow. Fuck you. All Mania right. And the worst three, one. The worst two, Companions so to the lions. All right. Act three it is. Okay. Let's update this. Act three. Okay. Yeah, I boss. Yippee Kaye, motherfuckers. Our host assured us of the group's anthropological values. But I sensed his designs extended well beyond the theoretical. You guys want a bastard's beak in the eyeball? The crossroads. <laughs> Who will step forward into the light? Um, alright. <clears throat> well, uh, yeah, let's take a look at the new parrot and make sure I'm talking not out of my ass here. Uh, it's Night Sworn, Pirouettes. Yep, so no longer gives days and uh, days and um, weakness. And when upgraded, it ignores block when stealth. So there you go. That's the changes to uh, to pirouette on Nightsworn. 
Um, all right, so let's think about this. Um, I know people want me to check out the new yellow hands, so we can definitely do that. Um, feels like a nerf. It's way better. Uh, it's okay. So here's my reasoning for this in my mind, like from a game, dis like from a game dev perspective. And the reason I think this was done. So Night Sworn is the only path of hers that can generate stealth. Like it can generate it per round. And the issue was if you found a way like the general's trophy to lock yourself in rank one or two, you could effectively like if you had, a, especially if you had a duelist, you could basically spam pirouette, not move back, have stealth both times and give like double days and double weakness kind of things. Um, and I think that that was their concern was on stealth. You could give the enemy days and weakness a little too easily because of the, the stealth generation. Um, and so they've removed that. They've nerfed. They've nerfed the upgraded version, but the unupgraded version is better. Um, and the fact that you never have to worry about the days and weakness is, in general, a good thing. So, just kind of depends on on your your perspective on it. Is there a way to not update the game and stay on the current version of Steam and play like that? Yes, there is, Marvin. Um, so when you go to Steam, yeah, I'll even show you if you're playing on Steam at least. Um, so when you're on Steam and you're going to Darkest Dungeon, the way to play on the beta, so you go to properties and you go to betas here, you'll have two. You'll have none and you'll have coming in hot. Um, coming in hot is the experimental branch. If you do not want to play these changes, you play on none. But if you play on this one, this particular patch on experimental, on that profile, you will not be able to switch back. Normally you can switch back and forth on this one. It will break it. So if you play a profile on this one, uh, you're locked in on it and you're going to have to play an experimental until it comes to retail. Um, and then you won't have this one because uh, that's that's for me and not for you guys. <laughs> so don't worry about the third one. You won't have that one. That's that's test stuff. So, um, yeah. Switch back and the desk came in my home and beat me. Yeah, they do. They beat you up. Yeah. All right, uh, so yeah, let's play Yellow Hand. Um, let's see how we feel about this. Definitely Double Cross. I think Double Cross is the most patent, potent. Um, uh, it was disabled because we we're doing our old memories run. I can probably turn that back on, though, because we're no longer doing all memories runs. So let me go ahead and turn that back on. Uh, da -da -da -da, character name, enable. All right, uh, so you can get your names in if you want. <laughs> Appreciate that. Yeah, of course, Marvin. Happy to help. Happy to help. <laughs> all right, so uh, Double Cross, definitely the most potent of all of his abilities. All right, uh, Zeus wants gun. Got it. Zeus all crazy. I always get the E and the U mixed up. Did I do it this time? I did. Yep, there we go. All right, we go. Uh, double Cross for sure. I've said that four times now. Um, Wicked Slice could be good. And we definitely want to try out the new Highway Robbery, right? Um, the Grape Shop Blast. I'm thinking Take Aim will be very useful for us here for the, uh, the Blind Removal and the Crit Tokens. <laughs> and sure, why not uh, Grape Shop Blast? That's fine. Uh, Grave Robber. So I kind of want to play Night Sworn Grave Robber because I want the stealth um, the of the mine. generation for the eyeball. I think that's going to be really useful for us. We can do Shadow Fade, Repartee, Throne Dagger, Flashing Daggers, and Dead of Night, probably. Uh, we can def We could also do Lunge, which does like a lot of additional damage. Um, maybe we get rid of Throne Dagger and do Lunge. Mm. Ignoring repost and nah. We'll do this. Um Maybe try to get the occultist combo of nuking the dot resist. We could definitely try. We could do like a malediction uh kind of ritualist you know thing going on for sure. One must embrace um, it. So for this 
cursing skills. Let's have Damon's pull. We want the heal. Oh man, this is tough. Uh, let's not do weakening curse, and then we'll do chaotic offering and malediction. It's an interesting. Do pirouette lunge spam. I don't know if I want to do pirouette on her. Maybe. I kind of need the stealth generation though, you know. But I guess repartee gives us the stealth, right? Let, yeah, let's do pirouette. Let's open up a pirouette instead. I think that works. Then we can go into repartee, which is going to give us the stealth anyway. I don't really need the shadow fade stealth. That's cool. Um, and then who do I want with this? Maybe a bleed jester. I haven't run bleed jester in quite a while. Long after um, the final chord has been struck. Is your boy open? Your boy is open. Yes. Um. All right. Let's see here. So. Team looking very squishy. Be fine. Honestly, I generally prefer squishy teams against uh, the eye, but we'll see how it does. My concern with running Hellion is that she get pushed around too much and not end up in a good position. Which I guess like she can if it bleeds. My other concern is going to be stress healing. Mm. Yeah, he's a tank, right? Infernal torches in this run. I don't know. We'll see how we feel when we get there. We'll we'll think about it. I think I'm gonna run this, and we'll we'll see how it goes. If it goes terribly, it goes terribly. Uh, it is what it is. Um. <laughs> this is an interesting build for sure. I don't know if this is going to be good, but in doubt, go mana arms. I mean, that's usually a good a good reality, too. But I like playing funky teams. All right, uh, Pate wanted uh, this guy because Pate always wants this guy. And that was Cyclops. So blind Cyclops. That fits. Yes, yes, yes. Make sure I spelled names correctly there. All right, we have one more character to rename, um, and that is the Jester. Anybody would like to spend some channel points? Alexander, all right, got you, Alexander. Okay. So squishy though? Yeah, it is squishy, but it'll be all right. It'll be all right. We've got a ritualist occultist, they'll be fine. Uh, yeah, let's do this. When he gets hit with a rework hammer, that would be interesting if they like decided to make him really tough. Forward now. All right, let me upgrade the, the path description here. Of the world. So we have um, ritualist, and then we have uh, solo. Yeah, we'll just do solo. That's fine. And then we have uh, uh, Yellow Hand. And then we have Night Sworn. Okay. Yes, we've already done the YouTube intro, so you don't need to say hi to YouTube now. You're too late to the YouTube intro. Okay. Comforts are exhausted. But hey, if you're watching Ahead, this on YouTube, only a trial. Subscribe. Tribulation. I'm not going to ask you if you could. Just do it. I'll wait. We've got three hours ahead of us. Should just do it. You see, even your. And if you're not subscribed to YouTube here, you should go subscribe over there. The spreading thing. All right. Nice. Nice. Uh, um. Hmm. 
gonna have to figure out like how I want to operate this team. This is definitely a weird team. I'm not super confident on how to play. Um, hammer one. I'm not gonna add a hit me with a hammer redeem. That was juicy. All right, I'm cool with that. into repost highway yeah i would if i was doing rogue but we're really not playing a rogue highwayman so i don't know i don't think like that i don't think that's as uh valid like a uh, an option yeah we're running yellow hand so it's it's a bit more about just kind of support abilities and stuff i suppose hmm. okay maybe we take off solo for um a different ability, but yeah, okay. So we're we're gonna end up in this situation. I need to be cautious about that. This is why we I'll check things like through. this in the first fight. It's important for us finding out what's gonna work and what's not gonna work. Yeah, fades of black or razor's wit would both be decent options here. Um, I'm almost tempted to get open vein for like the finishing value of the uh, of dots being something we could play play around with. But the work continues. The unrelenting has bleed value, yeah. Just to give us a way to kind of like add a little bit of dot. Play well with the jester here. I think that'd be good. More so than wicked slice. I don't think we care so much about wicked slice. Um, and I think we can get rid of solo for fate to black. Actually, you know what? I think hmm. I may even do something like this. I don't think we really need solo finale, but being able to get out of rank four and one is going to be useful for us. Um, all right, we'll see. Uh, I'm running bleed on him to kind of try and see if we can get some value out of the new highway robbery and grape shop last Grape shot in yellow hand. It's one two and three Make sure you're using the new wiki not the old one. Uh, we no longer use the fandom wiki the familiar heart is the wiki.gg Wiki that's probably why it's not Experience, been updated However painful uh, um, is the greatest teacher all right. of all I think we need to go probably of weird. We really need to get the good heals. It is very important to have those available to us early on. I think we're almost going to guarantee we can. go Pliskin here, well, especially no if we have medical gear, meaning. which we do if Kyrogen's mixing kit. That's if really solid. Ever did. So um, just to give us the value on healing, the especially with such a squishy go. team. Three of that fight must have saw it wrong. It didn't because uh, the um, the woodsman was ranked was size two and he was in the back position, so it hit it hit rank one and two and also three, but it doesn't really count that separately. A bit of comfort on the road to damnation. Um, So we could go for the beacon. Um, I'm a little uh, of ritualist occultist. Yeah, it it will be. Yeah, I know people want to see me play some of the beacons and stuff. We'll do it. I will sacrifice for the will of the people. Everywhere in ruin. Everywhere so you guys don't know this is the bastard's beacon. Need. This is the um, ordainment modifier one, or not modifier, but it gives all enemies and wandering bosses ordainment as well as lair bosses um, and increases the chances of wandering bosses to spawn and confession bosses get a additional um, 
additional buff, a special buff. I don't even know what the Act 3 buff is. Yeah, I can see here. Target minus 20% uh, dot resistance. Interesting. Uh, it's not the hardest. I would say it's on par with Stygian. Um, it's harder earlier in the run because you it's harder to ramp up against ordained enemies at the get-go. But by the end of the run, I would say outside of the final confession fight, it's generally going to be the same difficulty that you would normally encounter by Region 3. But the confession fight gets way harder. And then what do we want to upgrade here? Let's upgrade Double Cross. All right. Avoid the Watchtower. Let's get the Mastery Point. The croc continues to uh, Laudanum is going to be useful for us. Smoke Bombs are going to be useful for us. Um, anti Venom is going to be useful for us here. All right. That's good enough for now. Let's go ahead and get everybody some food. Uh, you know what? Yeah, let's get her speedy. Uh, she got scatterbrained. Eh, that's fine. I mean, it's 4% crit. It's it's really not that minimal, you know? Or it's really not that bad. Rancid crop grows unchecked and the Yeah, especially on her. Like her crit value is so high, I'm really not super worried about it. Alright. Um we could try for the lair. I'm I wouldn't be super confident about our abilities. Think carefully. Um one thing I am gonna try to find. Uh, hey Culver, how's it going? Uh one thing that's gonna be useful considering the fact we're going up against Act 3 is definitely gonna be trying to find um barricade fights. Outside of the fact that the Warlord is something that we probably want to get for the uh, for the trinkets, um, the real value comes from the fact that it has a pretty decent chance of giving Shimmering Powders. Wow. Okay. This might be off to a really quick and easy end of game start here. Love that for us. Okay, he just heals for all his health. Hmm. No, it's Rogue. Rogue does rank one, two, and three. Okay, my bad. I, I also thought it was this path. I don't know why. It's not. That's fine. This guy's dead anyway. Agony by accumulation. Uh, I'm fine with them keeping it to to not being on multiple paths. I think it, I think it, the three cleave, like three party cleave thing, is definitely very potent and should generally be kept. Like, um, I don't know, should just generally be kept to uh, only a few paths. Personally. Man, or Damon is no joke, dude. Really gets you early on. This is tough, dude. This is our first fight, and we are we are legitimately struggling here, for sure. Simple variable, easily resolved. Yeah, we do have him 
Ritualist with um, the Take Me Plus skin, so he's getting like a pretty damn good amount of healing. Um. So that's definitely helping the situation. Uh, we want to move forward here. So that way, our backline damage is definitely iffy, to say the least here. The, yeah, continues. the speed on Ordainment is what breaks it. Absolutely. Uh, that and just the base, like, dot resistances are just really, really garbage, in my opinion. Like, I don't think uh, enemies should have just, like, the ability to get, like, blanket dot resistances. It's not a it's not a fun challenge to just make enemy stats like across the board harder. Flies through them, and so they Neutralizing powders, fall. yeah, we can definitely take these. Yeah, I definitely think ordainment needs to be looked at. I think that's a uh, a large underlying issue in the game right now. Fudge. That's a rough this is a rough combination early on. I'm gonna have to use these like now. As much as I'd rather not. Change of it. I just make it less a stat buff and more like interesting effects, like things that can happen. Um, Cause right now it just feels really, uh, it just feels very like, we want the enemies to be harder. So we just like gave them everything we could to make them harder. Like there's no character to it. Hey, Evans Fall has gone. Let's just welcome on in. Hmm. Not a situation I prepared for was him getting in the rank four. Yeah, I mean, it could be a lot of things, honestly. I, I think there's a lot of potential options with it. Um. I just wish it, it had some play. It just really doesn't. So yeah, it's got, it's lowered all of its resistances, which is pretty interesting. So there's definitely some like good opportunity here to get a lot of dot into this guy. Though it does seem to only want to do bleeds right now, which is fine. Oh my God, we can double malediction. Amazing. And we're getting into weird positionings here with this team where I'm like unable to like do anything. Um, good miss. Feels a bit weird. It, it definitely, I think they just need to adjust the way that that appears on screen. I agree. It, it feels, it feels odd. Overall, we came out of this pretty damn good. I'm not gonna lie, but uh, I don't really think that we should have. <laughs> this is a weird like fight that we had. Persistence will overcome even the greatest that malediction. Threats. Like with the lowered uh, resistances, is pretty nice though. Dual advance could have gotten some. You, you know what? I agree. I think you're generally right. I think take aim is probably not the play 
We're not using Wicked Slice, so I don't really care about. And also, the the crit thing doesn't even happen until upgraded. Having the movement movement set is going to be really useful for us. I agree. Resist on the bleed there, very nice. Annoying watchdog, for sure. Gets us out of the combo range there. Um, damn. Did I kill here? No. We'd have to crit. Which is like, it's likely enough, but it's not guaranteed. Pillagers are really giving us a run for our money. Not, not amazing like synergies with this team, I won't lie. Like the combos are nice when they line up. Taking a lot of damage though. Any more dots? Yeah, we really don't have any dots. I mean, we have dots, we're just not really using them, honestly. It's hard to line them up with this team. It's just surprising, but... Yeah. I agree. Yeah, she definitely wants something to put the Rep RT on, and we're not using it right now, which is kind of one of the primary parts of her kit. Um, we would probably maybe benefit better from Deadeye. I'm not sure. Um... Like, she's critting a lot, which is great, but it doesn't Stop hurt help that we're, we're running, um, ah, there it is. We're running Beacon, and this is, I mean, it's it's going to be a struggle no matter what we do. We're going to have a hard time with it until we get some mastery going and other shenanigans. It's going to be a rough, it's going to be a rough run. Yeah, it's still, we're definitely still labbing things out, but it, I don't know, it's not looking great. Like, we can heal huge chunks of health at a time, which is nice. Like, we can basically full heal heroes. Um, an extra action on a cultist would be really nice to be able to just kind of potentially get some of those extra heals. Absinthe would probably be a, big, a good call. Maybe more so than um, what we have going on here. Reduce the nerf ordained by minus one speed, make it more act based on the stats. Reduce the speed on all the very fast enemies by one speed and making hasty battle model fifth. Uh, I think that sounds like a lot of like new nuance, like a lot of like what oh, constitutes what a fast enemy? Like what what's not what's not a fast enemy? I think that I think there's probably a cleaner way to do that. Cause no repartee target, yeah. Like we're, yeah, you're right. We're not getting flashing daggers value because we're not getting stealth because we're not putting any value on um, I'm gonna try this and see how it feels. 
We're gonna we're gonna shadow fade instead of um, pirouetting. I don't think pirouetting is doing anything for us. The grandpa way of running night swarm. Yeah, I mean that's definitely a good option. We could definitely do that instead of repartee. Yeah. Uh... Okay, let's try this. Let's see how that feels, huh? Let us hope their desperation can be eased. We're still alive, and like that's good. So we shouldn't be complaining about anything. You know, being alive is in half the crisis, battle. No hey, Flooding, how's it going? Welcome on in. <laughs> Ugh. Night Sworn about lunge. I haven't really been using lunge with Night Sworn very. I mean, this is the first time I've done that in quite a while. Um, <laughs> I don't want to go for the lair, but I kind of want to like head that way and just maybe see how it feels. A hasty and reckless thing indeed. Okay, there's a, a high enough likelihood that this is a warlord because of the the bastard's beacon, so be prepared for it. Army. Nope. Okay. And lost in this dying land. So it would be funny because it would have been the third run in a row that we've gotten that we'd have gotten uh... Pulling targets by the way is a really good way of removing the guard on them now because of the new mechanics they have So you can pretty much just get rid of guard like that Um But then it comes back, so. Yeah, it, it's it's to stop them from getting that issue where they would like jump back because they don't move anymore. They have no movement abilities. They have that issue where, like, the spearman would jump forward, and then you'd end up hitting... <coughs> you'd end up, like, hitting both the barricades instead of anything fruitful. And it was very annoying. kill list maybe yeah i really haven't played much of this um so this is i'm still kind of waging out how tough this uh this particular trophy is for sure <clears throat> which right now is seeming pretty tough um and i really don't have any options that won't potentially bleed him more right so yeah, that's an annoying situation to happen. Good changes with the runaway. Not in a while, Rune. Uh, the last two updates have been to Grave Robber. Or the last updates have been Grave Robber and Highwayman. But Runaway did get a patch, like in recent history. Um, she got some pretty good changes, but nothing, nothing for a little bit. Weaken them, that another may finish the work. Incremental. Bro is bleeding for like his whole health right now, which is obviously not a good place to be. Eighteen bleed. Love that for him. Pretty sure he's gonna die here. There's really not much I can do, even when I'm healing him for this amount. Um there's not much option for him. Particularly if they focus fire him, which they are likely to do. Feels like underwhelming but fun to use. She's come a long way, Rune. A long way since her initial inception. She will definitely get some more love, but right now they are uh, patching patching heroes like bit by bit, very piecemeal. Let's get him out of here, huh? My blood! He's punched out all my blood!
I mean, thankfully, a cultist is occulting pretty well, but this is probably the end of Highwaymen, in which case we'll restart the run. Like, I don't need to, uh, I don't need to sit here and do anything if he's going to die. Oh, a cultist is actually going before him, which is crazy. I'll be able to get some good heals here. Love that for you, buddy. Man, 10 damage. These guys, when they're ordained, are no freaking joke, man. I mean, they hit like a fucking truck. Yeah, we're having fun with it, though. I mean, I'm not super worried about it. I'm entirely honest. It is what it is. Uh, let's get rid of it. No strength for you. Oh, well, we live. We're just cracked that way. The path of exculpation need not be a lonely one. Uh, interesting they changed Yellowhand. The path was a godsend for me during Chapter 4 Confession. Uh, are you talking like recently it was a godsend for you? Like in the, the original change? Or uh, this most recent? Yeah, I and mean, they, they changed it today, right? So. Fucking Occultist is a hard carry today. Bud is just healing everybody. Removes all bleeding. Yeah, it sure would be nice. You know who would do really well here? Runaway. Runaway would be loving this. Bud said, have all your blood back. Don't worry about it. I got you. We've like outpaced all of the dots. Which is hilarious. Look at this condition that we're in right now. I mean, like, considering where we started, this is, like, about as good as it gets. Yeah, his debuff resist has been annoying for sure. It's 50%, so it's enough to, like, cause me some issues. I'm just gonna get drunk back here. Ignore me. There we go. All right. Well, that was definitely a fight. Greater threats await those who dare. Yeah, I know. I I don't. I'm not saying that's not the case. I don't think people realize that I'm just like doing this to have fun. Like I, I don't. I don't. I know that I should be better prepared for this torch, but it it's goofy. So, you have fun. I try my best, Rune. Not always. Debuff resist mechanic in this game. It actually usually a better choice to just use a damaging skill rather than utility one. I don't per se mind debuffs. I, I wish that there was a difference between uh, tokens being resisted and like debuffs, but they fall under the same thing. Like a debuff like the, the bleed resist debuff and like a negative token outside of daze and stun fall under the same category of resistances. And I I wish that they didn't. I wish that there was like a, like that like status effects kind of almost always hit kind of deal or something along those lines. I don't know. I feel like there'd be a way to, to do it where like the a, a status effects ones are a much higher chance of hitting and because those are the ones that you, like, build teams around and stuff. Like, I don't mind, oh, he resisted a vulnerable token or a blind token. Like, okay, like, I'm, I'm like, because then I would feel bad if I could never resist those things. But that, that again, that's also how I feel. I try to always think about that. It's like, how would I feel as the player if um, I couldn't resist things? Because generally, if the enemy can't resist something, you can't resist it. That's how it works. So, like, maybe it's fine. I don't know. 
but like I can understand it being very annoying. It is. Manner. It's absolutely pretty like you hear very the annoying. Child's cries? Steady yourself. Wasn't it, isn't that why they had accuracy? I mean, kind of. Accuracy is just a mechanic. I mean, being able to hit things is always part of the reason. It's always a, a valid thing to have in the game. Jesus Christ, leave the dude alone. He's fine. The plus 100% damage on these guys is going to go hard, unfortunately. Lovely double crit. Yeah, who knows? Maybe. We can have some fun with it. I survived dumber fights, probably. Maybe. Nice. It does on um, Night Sworn. Grape Shop Blast also hits three people on one of his paths now, so. Pick your poison. Lethality writ large. More valuable. I could be wrong, but it's just my thought process. Yeah, I mean, that. Yeah, if accuracy was something in this game, I that would be a, a fair point, but it. And that's how it worked in DD1 kind of thing, right? Was like, you increase the accuracy on moves that were debuffing skills because you wanted to make sure that but like in that game it was like all oh, debuffs always had it like always stuck if they hit right um so it, i mean it's just a different way of doing it that's how that's how they compensate for it in this and yeah yeah just sometimes it feels a little bulky but there's nothing wrong with that I, it i'm also complaining just because when things don't go my way i don't like it you know so Heels. Love that. Incremental, but deadly all the same. Dude said, "I got this," and healed the whole team. Yeah, the beacon definitely adds like a level of difficulty, a strong level of difficulty to this. luck on those weirds. It's not necessarily luck. We have a ritualist occultist with the pet that adds additional healing and we have a, a healing item on the stagecoach. So right now he's doing like, it's like plus 50, it's like 50%, 0 to 50% healing plus 33% healing plus an additional 10%. Like it, it adds up pretty heavily. Yeah, so it it's all kind of stacking up. It just increases the chances that when we do roll, like, even mid numbers, we'll still roll pretty high. Is a Yes, abs it's absolutely still possible to get zero. And it will happen at some point, I am very positive. Yeah, if we, get, if we got the baby, if we we're able to kill the baby, which I don't think we'd be able to. Um, it would go insanely hard if we got the healing trophy on them right now. Like it would, it would be bonkers. Yeah, that was probably like a low mid roll and we were able to get it pretty good. 
has a healing effect no shilling the trophy that added plus 50 percent to your health has been changed to add plus 50 percent healing instead no longer affects your health We could get gas. We could get a lot of good things here. Um, I won't lie. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and eat this repost. Because why not? Interesting. If I move by hitting the goat, she'll be mad. But if I move by hitting him, she won't be mad. Or, yeah. Because for some reason that all makes sense. Doesn't feel good so far. The triple grape shot I think feels fine, but the bleed the bleed debuff is like it it feels pretty meh in my opinion. But who am I to judge? I'm sure somebody will get value out of it, whoever they are. I should probably save that honestly. You know that why did I not think about doing that earlier on? Would have been a better option for getting rid of that repost. Please miss. Fudge. Well, that ain't good. Damn. Resolute. Oh my god. Game is cracked. We're amazing. We're gonna win. Oh my god. Everything's okay. Nothing ever bad happened to the Kennedys. Just resolute. Easy. Come on, guys. Get on my level. You wouldn't understand how easy it is to win this game. All right, you guys just don't get it. Don't comprehend. Okay, this is a good time to use that because. Well done. I got you. Damn right. Alexander coming clutch right there. Messy, but effective. I'm not coming down to your level now. Fuck yes. I mean, like, we have some good, like, damage potential and whatnot here. We're definitely going to want to try to get... <laughs> um, we're definitely going to want to get uh, Malediction on the baby if we can. It's going to be very helpful. Bro, can you fucking miss anything? Or do you just, like, exist outside of time and space as we know it? Dude, taking on the baby is such a dumb choice, but it means we get to reset early and, um, Bravo. you know, play different things, right? That's how this works. Lethality writ large. Oh, we're probably going to fight the baby. I mean, we're not in terrible condition, but like, can we fight the baby? I think we can. Should we? That's a very different thing. Uh, so here's the new bumper. I mean, if we get this and we <laughs> and we also get a Lembic and return, like our ritualist is going to be healing for like 80. Um, <laughs> it's going to be dumb. Let's get the new cursed coin that can steal regen and ghastly girl, which again, we can also give this to the occultist and he can just like. This is the All right, we're going to fight the baby. Harvest is here. Pity those. Double hunger. Table. Close. Really, really line that one up well, though. What are you down to? Okay. Measure That's all oh, good. We self burned ourselves. That's really what I wanted to see. This is not going to go well. We are. I'm going to tell you this now. We're going to die. All right. Let's just, let me just be real, really real with you here. Just look at the vulnerables we have going on right. Yeah, we're dead. We're dead already. This is this is kind of outrageous how dead we are within the span of a couple seconds here. gonna help ok 
Hey. Fudge. A slow dissection. Ah, yeah. Love that. End. Now focus fire the jester. The slow yeah, we're dead. Begins. Yeah, we're dead. GG. Plan a killing blow on the Warlord or the Crusader? Uh, I'm not sure. Maybe. Oh yeah, this is 200 or something is 200, like a lot of health, right? 160. That's not terrible. It's got a decent amount of dots on it, which is cool. But like, just got hit rip. Yeah, this is what we get for doing what we're doing right now. Um. it again thank you don't have to clean it it's been like two days no i've not had that happen uh wish you could bite the baby instead i don't know if that would help the enemy weakens and wanes I wish that if you ate while on death's door with hunger, it would like actually like heal you or something. I think that could be pretty fun. Fellowship forged through toil. Oh, uh, she's probably gonna die. Anybody can carry it, it's a cultist for sure. The RNG wants this run to work, maybe. I still don't think we have the, uh, the damage alpha to deal with this. Yes, we we the heals are not necessarily luck. We're we're we have the heals pretty down pat, thankfully. Um, that was that was the lowest one we've had. So like, guess I can't complain too much. Huh? That was a very bad. We're, we're we're dead now. I do not have any way of getting being able to focus on doing. Um, healing while also putting enough like putting 33 damage into this guy i just don't have the ability to do it yeah that's game fight through the fatigue through adversity and affliction and jester is a well, he's at 80 percent as a resolute so that's good i guess Fudge. And of a crit, too. That's crazy. Wow, have you guys ever seen this many Death Door procs in a row? That actually fucking, like, worked? He uh, there he goes. Alright. No well, fail. this was a fun run. An unforeseen complication. Master's Beacon ain't no joke, baby. Nothing more. 
Lady, can you crit at any point in time? Bro, what are you down to? He's dead here. What is this? What is this? Okay, if he survived that, I would have fucking lost my shit. She fades into the shadows for the last time. All right, no more Bastard's Beacon. I really don't like the Infernal Flames. I'm going to just be brutally honest. I think they are a, um, a non-fun way of adding challenge to the game. I really wish they had moved away from them and done something different instead of doubling down on them. I, I just, I, I... I've been very vocal about my dislike of the Flames over the last couple years. The harder they will fight. I just think they're boring, personally. It's like, the level of challenge they add is like, some of them are kind of interesting, like the new ones, I will say. Um, like the, you know, stacking crit damage and things. Are they, they're kind of fun, but... Starting to sound better? I am feeling better, Your yeah. We'll just keep running Obsession, it's fine. Drift in this bituminous nightmare. It just makes the game hard. It, it gives you more candles, so if you're on like a candle grind, it can maybe be beneficial, but honestly, winning as runs is more on, beneficial than like were drawn getting, in chalk <laughs> getting a few extra and candles. Was laid upon so, the floor. this was not research. Actually, it does it even give you extra candles anymore? They may not. I don't know. It may just it may just be a challenge. Yeah, the corpse light. Corpse light is fun, and corpse light is interesting. Like it actually adds like some dynamicness to the game. I don't actually I don't even think they increased candles anymore. I think they had just hard modes. So like, you know, it is what it is. Um but yeah, you know. All right. That was fun. Um yellow hand is bleh. You know, it is what it is. Um let's see here. I don't know if we're going to be running Highwaymen. We might. I might focus on Grave Robber. I don't know. Just ask us. Yeah, and I, I don't just like I understand like some people just like challenge modes. I get that. Like I, I absolutely understand that. But I think they I, I like the direction that the new torches went in for the most part. But I uh, other than that, I think they're a little rough. Um. Yeah, a lot of people have cons I've talked about the the candles. Candles in general are a issue in the game. I don't really want to keep harping on them because I know they're an issue in the game. Everybody knows they're an issue in the game. They need to be fixed. I just don't think that's going to be a particularly quick fix for them because it's going to be a, a pretty big mechanical change. The one. Oh my God, we haven't done the game giveaway. All right, exclamation enter for your chance to get in for a free random Steam key. I'm going to go get a drink of water and go to the bathroom. And then we'll go ahead and do the game giveaway. So if you'd like a chance to win a free random Steam key, exclamation enter to get on in. I will be right back. This. Beneath bloodlust and fury. And we and run carcass, baby. And carcass gaming. Carcass. Everybody loves carcass. Uh, and then we're going to run ritualist again because it's good and we can do weird and demons and we're not going to focus on malediction and some sacrificial stabbing and then we're going to run sharp shot and we're going to focus on back rank damage take aim pistol double tap grape shot and um maybe tracking shot 
and we're gonna do dead eye because I'm silly shuffles yes uh, faceless visage uh, is it possible to get all three regions to be the same region no Cheney it is not um, let's see um, yeah even with a sluice it is not possible thrown dagger flashing daggers there is a cat on the back of my chair dagger or tried to be on the back of my chair but he ran away uh da 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 um 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 yeah uh, sure cool oh uh, she's got off guard that's fine whatever i don't care i also got lazy eye whatever i don't care we're just having fun all right, let's go. And we'll rename some characters. Zeus wanted Gunman. So Zeus gets Gunman. The time for and Pate, of course. Um. <laughs> gets there, all right. Cat, yeah, he came, he left. He came, he saw, he conquered, he left. The point of no return welcomes you with open Oh, let's arms. update my path descriptions. So we have, uh, what is she? Dead Eye, Dead Eye, and then we have Sharp, and then we have Rit, and then we have Kark. There we go. All right, cool. Grave rubber, got you. Uh, heavens fall. There you go. Uh, Boudicca's memory, so we can't rename her. The bulwark of your denial. So that's all the way. heroes. You, yeah, you did. You got him. This is Batay. I don't say anything weird of that. What'd you find DD2's font? Uh, somebody in the community found it for me. Multiple people in the community have found it for me. I don't want to get yelled at for whoever did get it for me. I can't remember. Mate did it at one point. Somebody else did it at another point. Look, multiple people did it, right? It is in my Discord, and it is pinned in there in the Darkest Dungeon chat, if you would like it. So you can find it there. Exclamation Discord. Hmm. Critacular. Stabby, stabby. Daddy, daddy. bleed out had extra ketchup extra ketchup yeah it does have a lot of extra ketchup added i forgot i actually haven't checked out hellion's new vfx she has had quite a few i do believe the fiend's strength dwindles no not him Mmm, juicy. Juicy, juicy. Damn, I missed your eyes. Yeah, you did. You you did murder him, though. You did end his sad little life. This is like a all back rank damage team. I just want to see how strong these two are combined. Yeah, I generally wouldn't recommend upgrading toe to toe and carcass. The place is a little worse for wear. Generally not a good option. Uh, tormenting locket can be really good for us. We can swap these two and get some value out of it. Rain. 
fire. Even though it is gonna stress us out is a lot. There no sanctuary from this but like, who cares, bro? You can get plus 10% crit from that. That's really cool. We can also go take on the baby the farms and, and fields of our mess kingdom the baby up if we wanted to. Putrescence and rot. We wanted to like swap out Grave Robber for Bounty Hunter and get Kill List and just murder everything that ever lived and profit from our murdering of everything that ever lived and have that value, I think we'll enjoy it thoroughly. Precious relics remind us of a time before the end. Uh, oh my God, game over. Your coach must be maintained if it is to carry you where you must go. Punish you for playing Grape Shot on Yellow Hand? Because it has to have a punishment? Because every token, every trinket does? That's pretty much the only reasoning for it I can think about. Being reasonable. At least it's One less stress than it was before. Survival demands it. A bit of comfort on the road to damnation. Uh, okay, everybody but the bounty hunter gets food. Named Snorkel. All right, I guess we're naming the pet Snorkel. Snorkel, that's a good name. Got you, all right, Snorkel. Snorkel and friends. Let us vominos into the distant abyss and kill things. Let's go kill a baby. Bounty Hunter is here to help us, murdering the child. Ugh, man, water is so good. Such an such a brilliant thing to drink. If you didn't the realize that, by the way. Grows on oh yeah, baby's right here, right next to us. We got this. We're gonna we're gonna have a good time murdering this fool. He ain't gonna know what happened, chap. He's gonna be like, oh my god, I'm just a baby, and I'm gonna be like, yeah, and you're dead now. Ha ha. Excellent. Gotta save those shimmering powders, cause obsession. Why did you have... whatever. I'm not gonna ask questions. Ah! We yelled really loudly. Moves block tokens, right? I kind of forget that that's like a thing. Like, Hellion isn't going to feel great by the end of all this. Let's just be realistic here. No. Uh huh. Not him. Anybody but him. We yell at this piece of wood. Yell at the wood. your health back Ooh. 
Yeah, she's just kind of she's just kind of here at this point. But she's doing her job, don't worry. Honestly, those intoxicants would have been really good against the baby fight before we may have been able to actually like survive it with the additional DBR resist. Steal yourself. Carcass, but she couldn't pull her weight against body of work. Yeah, body of work is a particularly easily. tough fight for her just because of the fact you kind of do need damage. Like she, she has to kill something at some point. Um, bleed out can work well against the Spectre, but yeah. Really good. Yeah, sorry. Uh, Caramel Dance BB, so goddamn uwu. You're, you're uwu. You're uwu AF. I don't know what any of this means, chat. What does it mean? Explain it to me. I kind of feel like the goat should get like worse abilities in the back like that and not be able to just move people willy-nilly but like what well, who am i to judge i guess what does she lose the stress for there did she crit on that oh gone hater that's why The numbers, what do they mean? They mean you're an idiot. Yeah, it does. I mean, it's good stress heal. I don't know. It works fine, in, in my opinion. <laughs> they did change double tap on sharp shot, yeah. Now it does two attacks if the target survives so <laughs> oh, excuse me oh. there you go big boy heals you love to see it Playing debuffs or dots yeah if you have like the away like if you can like have some apply on hit things like you can get a lot of value out of it i think it's really fun thematically like it feels it feels like a good a good ability and all that my hellion is not supposed to be here right now Okay, just line up a big old hurl bat. Yeah, the damage is pretty freaking juicy, not gonna lie. Nice natural crit. Not. You, you're a bad person. Also nice natural crit, except it stress healed me because we're cool like that. On to the next. That's one thing I really love about Carcass is her stress heal on crit. That's such a fun like concept. Turns a lot of things on its head.
Get our torch light up. Zero damage, Carcass Hellion, pretty classic. Pretty classic moment right there. Oh yeah, he's got kill list. We probably should have been using that a bit more. Even the big ones. Pretty good haul here. Man, I'd really like to see the new trophy. We have not seen it yet. End of Home, Ghastly Gruel, Greater Guild of Mine, these are all good things. These are all very good things. We like these. Greater Guild of Mine oh, with the here. melee locket is also, or the, the locket is pretty good as well. The table. Yeah, the smaller meat is going first, which is nice. Okay, we are locked in. That's fine. Pretty good chance we can stun here. Not great. It'll, uh, it'll be hard to outspeed the, uh, well, we're not gonna outspeed the occultist. That's just, that's just not gonna happen. was the right call it was definitely a call the slow suffering begins she gets the speed token there which is nice for us uh, so we can go ahead and lock ourselves back up here again. Give her a good little heal. What a welcome one, nonetheless. A breakthrough. Worked well for us. That was good timing because it basically just means that we only get the same thing twice there, which is good. So 
35 health. Down to 29. low damage on that ability, so. Ooh, I didn't realize he had the hunger. I should have locked her in instead of healing, maybe, but maybe not. I should have given it to her. Shit. Uh, I didn't think that'd be enough to get her down to death door, but I was obviously wrong. It's fine. So that's gonna suck if it misses. Agony by accumulation. Great way of dealing with the blind is double tap. That's a really good way of being able to deal with the blind, honestly. An inkling of potency still lingers in some of these well-worn relics. Right. Well, we got our revenge on the baby, so that's good. Um. So I think this works well on the Hellion because even though she's not healing anybody, she is. This does increase her healing received. Um, overall, we're going to get really good healing on uh, Bate anyway. Um, we should also give her this. This is a really strong combo for her. More arrive, foolishly hey, seeking fortune Imper and glory. Imperator in Philly, thank you very much for the follow. I appreciate it. Damned. Welcome on in. Yeah, some really solid trinkets there for sure. I think overall that was a really good fight. Now we just have to survive, you know, and we have a barricade fight coming up, which is not really a fight that we want to see at this point, but hopefully it's not a, uh, it's not a thingamadoo hickory bobbery. It's not a warlord. Don't be a warlord. Okay. Double barricade is also not great for us. A lot of bleed on this, but hopefully we can get some just solid heals like right off the bat. Okay, or cultists could do that. That also is an option of all time. We'll go ahead and apply that burn here, just because it's going to be useful. We'll get the off going. Oh, I didn't equip the anti stress one. Thank you, Tessa. I, I will make sure to do that later. Oops. Cultist moment. Yeah, it's fine. Every now and again, we're going to get a good bit of regen. She can heal for a lot. Like, I'm not super worried about it, honestly. Um... Just focus down this first one. Hold fast. The crits are definitely not great. Hey, Dame. Uh, it's going well. How about yourself? A little bit of stress heal there. I was hoping that they wouldn't do that, but... They may choose to focus on him. I'm going to go ahead and give him this just in case he does hit death door here. Yeah, we got rid of that. So now we can focus down some damage there. Go ahead and adrenaline rush here. Let's get I mean, adrenaline rush healing for 18. That's crazy good. That's nutty. All right, you focus on healing yourself, bud. Excellent.
36 on Barbaric Yop. Okay. Yeah. That should also affect her regen if she gets the hint of home to pop. Like, regen is now affected by things like Ghastly Gruel. Um, well, that's not a skill, is it? I think it has to be a skill, but um, healing received will do it. Like, if it's healing received, like blanket healing received, it'll affect it. But I don't, maybe, maybe not. We'll see. You can get some crazy regens if you work things around properly. It's kind of nutty. All right, let's get some heals here. Nice big 38. Once we get that trophy on, he's going to be healing for just stupid numbers. Okay. Oh, yeah. Ghastly Gruel combined with everything else. Give me... Recheck yeah, Crusader in particular can get, like, up to just dumb, silly, wacky numbers of healing with, uh, with regen ticks. It's, it's absolutely wonky. And I love it. I think it's great. You definitely have to, like, work for that. You can't just, like, make it happen, you know? A simple variable. Easily resolved. <laughs> so the 36 heals. Nutty. And that just heals her stress because she's silly like that. In the best way possible, I mean. Templar flag, Vestal, metric, fung tongues of space cocaine. Yeah, yeah. It's it's just crazy what you can do. But it's fun. I'm glad that it's it's possible to do stuff like that, you know? Like I, I do love runs where you can just get some silly number of something. Um okay, stress resists. Sure. Alright. It's also DBR resist, which is nice. Like, don't get me wrong. I do like me a little bit of DBR resist. But like, look how well we came out of that fight considering how, like how little health we went into that. Like we came out of that like feeling good. Feeling very good. Oh, ah. oh well. Sorry, I gave uh, Cyclops, I gave you your points back by accident. Not that that's a bad thing. Enjoy your points. No crit. For who knows what lurks in the beyond. Well done. Yeah, they need to change the way the crit looks like on non-damaging attacks. Feels a little weird right now. No, no, it's fine. It's I just misclicked. It's fine. Channel points don't mean anything anyway. It's like whose line is anyway? The points don't matter. This is an interesting team. It is an interesting team. I'm so far enjoying it. We'll see how we feel once we get Grave Robber back on, on the team. But so far, it's been quite fun. A no. Perhaps. Aspirin though for the heals. And they're gonna pay off soon once we get this trophy equipped. Bleed out was not the right call there, but it's okay. He's gonna eat a corpse. Oh, he can't. He can't eat a corpse. Haha. <laughs> That's right. Region one, baby. You can't do nothing. Representation though, I guess. I just really like Ritualist. I like big number heals make brain go brrrr. There we 
we go. We got a little bit of regen finally. The first time proking that. Okay. Thanks for the double stun video game. That's really fun and enjoyable. Everybody likes that. Steady yourself. This is this is dumb. I don't like what's happening right now. Triple Weber is fucking dumb. As we are now learning. This road cannot be walked alone. Is this what it's like to be an enemy in DD1? Is this the pain they suffer on a regular basis? No, don't laugh. It's not funny. Okay, all right, all right, fine. Game, got it, understood. A trifling matter. I will talk about your spiders however I damn well please, Pate, and you'll like it. You'll embrace it. Oh my god, the cats are unleashed again. I need to look. What is the cooldown on that? It's like the fourth time you guys have unleashed the cats. Might need to lower the cooldown on that. Huh? 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 I like how the huds get really slow after a bit. They're like, uh. Thank you for redeeming all those. I appreciate you. Appreciate you, chat. You're all cool people. You're all cool people in my books. Huh? Huh? Thanks for that, Pats. Not enough cats. Not enough cats. We need more cats. I require additional gato. Donde esta el gato? Me gato. Es muy bueno. No, there is a cooldown on Unleash the Cats. I just thought it was longer. I don't know. I just work here, man. Nice Spanish. Me Espanol es muy bueno. Gracias. Hey. Murder things. Broke. Remove all of their health expeditiously. Well done. That means quickly. Yourself. Ow! I mean, cool. Thanks for the stress heal. That's what the bounty hunter specializes in. Murder! 
A murderer most foul. No corpse for you, big guy. Sorry. The greatest of threats. Ha, get wrecked, nerd. Can't hit this. Da na na na. Na na. Na na. Can't touch it. Na 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 na. But they indeed could touch this. Yep, have all of your health back. Enjoy! Casual 40, easy day. Incremental. Oh, look at that sick regen, bro. It doesn't get better than that sick, nasty regen, bros. And bro Cephs. The one pleasant in the extreme. This work <laughs> is noble. Oh. And necessary. Yeah, minus 3% crit is like whatever. Whatever skis, bro Cephs. It is really warm in here. Why so warm? Why so spicy? Loathing, 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 loathing. I like a little bit of loathing with my loathing. I like it when they sprinkle that shit all over me. Up ahead, a seat Just take off that shirt. I need to get research. some nipple pasties when I'm gonna do that. They emptied their larders gorging themselves as the world began to crumble. Fun facts. Fun facts number 215. We got Ongar, that's pretty good. I am the pee pee poo poo man. Thank you for reminding the people of that. Fun fact number 215 is this fun fact right here, right now. Herring fish communicate by farting. Ladies and gentlemen, we found my spirit animal. Wait, no, that's bad. <laughs> She'll be on life support pretty much. All right, I need the fan on me. I need my fans, my adoring fans. All right, child, let's make this intense. Let's go. Where are we going? Where are we? What are we doing? Let's go for the fight. Uh, all right, we're done. The lost souls of a dying world. <laughs> Boing. Get out of here, deadbeat. A promising development. Agony by accumulation. A master stroke. Wow. Way to resist that stun, but you're not gonna resist this bullet to your head. That was only four damage, though. It was really low. Easily resolved. Alright. Listen here, big guy. Stop resisting all the things I'm trying to do to you. It's not fair. What does this button do? Oh, okay. Today we learned. We've got some new buttons. I don't know what they did. Measured and steady. Do I like DD1 or DD2 more? I like DD2 more, personally. 
DD2 fits my preferred play style more than DD1. But DD1 is like the game that got me into streaming and I love DD1, I'm very fond of it. But yeah, I prefer DD2. What if I just like put a knife inside of your head? That's what happens. Now I'll eventually get to DT. Hey, very yeah. How's your how's your DD one run going? Enlighten us. What uh what endeavors have you gotten up into recently? What monstrosities have you unearthed? I think uh, you said you've opened up the courtyard, right? So like, how's that going for you? You got any any vampires yet? Anybody sucking on some blood? An impressive. They lusting. Put it to good use. Uh, I mean, we can use that on Grey Robber. You know, ooh, when did we get Raven's Reach? Hello. Hello. Mike Wazowski. Restarted because I may or may not get into your word. I'm not starting Crimson Core yet. It was too much handle. Yeah, that's valid. Don't feel bad about doing that. And if you're, yeah, my recommendation to all new players is to, uh, you can always turn on Crimson Core in your run later. You can turn mods on, you can't turn them off. Keep it off, turn, turn on every other mod besides Crimson Core, keep it off, get the baseline going, get feeling good, get some heroes, start doing some veteran dungeons, maybe feel comfortable with veteran dungeons, and then like, then, then turn it on and then maybe go do some questing. I mean, you can turn on the, the Crimson Court and then just ignore the town like event for it, but it gets really annoying. So I would recommend just not even turning on the mod and then just turning it on later. Fnatic is a spooky fine. man. Fun fact, I've never fought the Fnatic. That was one thing I was doing in my DD1 runs, which I need to continue. I need to, I need to get back on that, that run. Yes, you can enable mods after starting the run. You can have them off, and then you can go and turn them on once the run has started. Once you turn the mods on, though, you cannot turn them back off. Crimson Curse, eight people, the Crimson Curse, and the only champion level is not, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you have to go up against the Countess. Yeah, she's, uh, she's a fight. Also, uh, I highly recommend doing the Crimson Court dungeons with um, with a map. There's no reason not to. Maybe do the first one without a map, like the first like main. What, what is that? The Baron. Do the Baron, and like sure, just to like, oh, this is kind of funky. But then after that, just do a map. <laughs> I didn't know that. Yeah, a lot of people get locked into doing that. A lot of new players will be like, I'm gonna turn everything on because I'm good at it, and then Crimson Court just overwhelms them because it's a lot. Crimson Court is a lot. Space drugs will solve all boss issues. They generally do. Uh, space crack in, uh, in DD1 is a little bit too potent, especially with the fucking mana arms. Bolster is broken when you can stack it. Yeah, the epic maps are, well, they're epic, all right. The enemy weakens and wanes. No, you don't have to do it in one go, but it does make things a little complicated when you split them up and stuff. It can be difficult to handle. But yes, you can leave an epic dungeon and you will start in the last room you left in, right? So, like, that is absolutely valid. 110% like valid. <clears throat> I mean, the enemy variety in the court is is meant to be limited, right? Like that's <clears throat> it is the DLC. When you played the base game for so long, that variety felt nice. The skewer, the subterranean skewer, yeah, those guys are uh, those guys are not fun. I can't remember their name either. 
They're fucking annoying though. Especially when you get like three of them. And you're like, what is happening right now? I don't understand. Get skewered, ya nerd. A promising development. Yeah, they're tanky and they do a lot of damage. Much annoying. Many wow. Would recommend not. Just just not. Ah, fuck your taunt. I can't hit you anyway. Ha ha. Na 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 boo boo. So, Crimson Court still throws me for a loop. I've only actually done Crimson, like, played through Crimson Court, like, once. I think it's very fun and it's good and it adds a lot of good content to the game if you're a veteran player, but, like,. It is so much. I definitely have enjoyed doing runs without the Crimson Core turned on. And just being like, all right, I'm just going to do the base game because this is already hard enough. I don't need all this bullshit. I don't need these little dudes running around with their fucking party invites. Getting everybody sick. It's okay. Crits don't work on me anyway, baby. Ooh. Four priests in the darkest dungeon. Yeah. A priest can can crit you down so fast. A lesson I've definitely had priests ruin more learned. than one round in my life. Also, it took me so long to realize that this is a reference to the witches in the Darkest Dungeons in Darkest Dungeon 1. This is like the helmet they wear, the mask, whatever you want to call it. I did not realize that for a long time. The loathing. I was literally sitting in somebody's stream and I was like, wait, holy shit, that's from that's from DD1. I was like, that's a straight up reference from DD1. <laughs> Sorry. Crimson Court, you get a heal for the Crimson Curse in Sanitarium. Once you beat the final boss in the, yeah, the final main boss in the court, yes, you get, uh, you unlock the ability to heal court, the Crimson Curse like you would uh, a regular disease. Lower your guard. Hey, Makata, how's it going? Welcome on in. Ooh, Roaring Hearth. Very nice. It is safe here. Stiff knees, not great. Not amazing. Not clutch AF, my friends. Uh, I would rather have Raven's Reach than this. I... Yeah. With guild in mind, that gives us enough of a stress resist on this. I don't care. This is this is silly. Don't care about it. Don't care about it. I don't care about it. All right, Grave Robber, welcome back. Have that. Enjoy. Um, unless you're gonna fight the guardian in the courtyard, yeah. Also, another fight Precious I never did in DD1. Garden Guardian. Time before the end. Never a thing I did. Your coach must be maintained if it is to carry you where you must go. Now everything is dirt cheap, right? Mm, shield break makes the guardian obsolete. I mean, she does kind of like defy the whole reason that fight, like what that fight is trying to do, right? All right, well, we've got four Shimmering Powders, so we're feeling pretty pretty good at this point. Once I read a guide, yeah. And there's Experience. nothing wrong with that. However Ain't painful, nothing wrong with looking up a guide of all. and uh, embracing guides as a way to enjoy DD1. Because I basically did that. That's basically how I played DD1, except my guides were just watching streamers and, like, copying them. 
that did be do how I did it. Death just killed my last party. Rip. I'm sorry, bud. I feel for you. Not that much, but I feel for you. Well, that's a fun relationship. All right. All up. All, all up. All. Fuck. Well, that was not good. It's fine. We're still. Oh, God. That ruined more relationships than it helped. We're still all mostly positive. Well, we're not negative. We're not not positive. I don't. What am I trying to say here? I don't know. Uh, yeah, they've been boudica. There you go. Get you guys. Get you guys into neutral territory. There you go. Also, Zeus and Boudica. There you go. Roaring Hearth is basically combating the negative relationship proc right now, so even at unfriendly, they're doing 0% chance for negative relationship. Fine by me. Stun resist. Um, I don't really care. It's fine, I guess. You can have that. We have some money. Let's spend some of it. Where are we going? What are we the doing? The and cantrips of our land, crumbling and undone. Sprawl. Let's let's go get some trinkets in the sprawl. We got this. We freaking got this, chap. Ugh. Makes you feel any better. We we party wiped to the baby in region one earlier with a bastard's beacon run. Went super well. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting that this button exists. I have no water. Let's go. Didn't miss the stream. You do not do Finchmerts. You do not miss the stream. You are here on time. Also, chat, I have new emotes being made. I'm super excited for them. Of man. Uh, if you guys didn't hear about that, Ruined. so we're gonna be getting a it's whole new wave flame. of emotes, and then um, depending on how well people receive them, we might be pushing the sub counter a little bit more, just because to unlock more emote slots, I need more subs. Um, and if people like the new emotes, which I think you guys will, Options I would like to get more of them made liberation. and stuff, because um, we can get up to like 20 now. But that's really hard to do. I don't like that's a lot of sub points, but we're close to getting the next like one unlocked. It's at one fifteen, I think it is. But you can fund Shelby's ring and get emotes for the community. Look at that, helping out. But we have yeah, we have ten new static emotes and five new animated ones being worked on. Now gonna be super cute and cool and awesome. Are you off guard? Oh, gross! I gave you all that speed for nothing. Why do you exist? Hmm, crit yacht. Double weak, that's really good on him. This just stops him from getting buffed up as fast. The slow suffering begins. They falter, so press your advance. What does she get an extra action from? Or was she the last to go last time? Was that what that was? That must have been what it was, was, right? She didn't get an extra action from anything. Yo, what up, Cinder? Dude, I always get hyped whenever you come in the chat because I'm like, yes, it's gonna play. How you doing, brother? How you doing? How you doing? 
Let's see about that. Well oh my god. Audrey, you sexy, sexy lady. Back from vacation. Ooh, how was your vacation? What did you go? What did you do? Tell me all of the things. Spill the beans. You glad to be home? You feeling refreshed? Re reinvigorated? Nah, he's dead. <coughs> Took a cruise to the Bahamas. Ooh, very nice. Was wonderful. Drak and I had a great time. Dude, that's awesome, bro. So simple. Glad choice. you guys had a good time. At least it should be. I uh, have never been on a cruise. What's My brother is going on one soon. There's a barricade ahead. I don't know if I would enjoy a cruise personally, but it it sounds like if you do it right, it can be a really like it can be as relaxing or as stimulating as you want it to be, which I think is an interesting thing. Hey, like any balance changes so far? So far, OK. Um, I think Yellowhand still needs another pass, but I think overall they've done they've done a pretty good job kind of picking up the pieces and getting things feeling pretty good. Didn't think you would either, but you loved it. I'm glad to hear that, man. Yell at them aggressively until they hit you. It's quite literally your whole gimmick right now. Let's pull the crack shot so we don't get front mortared immediately. Next turn. Mmm, rage adding. Ow, crit. But that takes away stress. God, Carcass Hellion is so fucking good. I hope they don't change her too much when they get to her, uh... Fucking 81. Ha, <laughs> Oh, I love it. Oh, it's amazing. Gotten better pass though? Yeah, it has. Nice one feels really good. I think all the other paths genuinely feel pretty good. I think I think Yellow Hand is still one that I think they're a little confused about what exactly it's gonna be. But it'll hopefully get a little better. Overall, it's not terrible. It just needs a little bit more identity. Yeah, once they rework other bleed paths and stuff, and now it's got that cool little highway robbery thing where it steals, like, dot resistances. Like, yeah, it's all cool. I can get behind a lot of that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It, it's hard to it's hard to judge where things are going to be, considering the fact they have a lot of, like, rework to, like, kind of go through still. Jesus Christ. These two with Deadeye and... Or Sharp Shot and frickin'... Uh, Deadeye, yeah. Chop Shot and Deadeye is just like, the, the damage is kind of nutty. When they pop off with those crits, it's like, oh my god. Good golly molly. It die. <laughs> oh man, I feel like this cough is gonna last for a very long time. You know, it it ain't going anywhere anytime soon. And that's the that's pretty much the last of my symptoms. So like I I can't complain too much, but too just annoying. So it brings no satisfaction. Yeah, I don't really want to use those. How's our torchlight looking? I don't know because I don't get to see any relevant information at this screen, so I have no idea if my torchlight is. Well, okay, I guess I shouldn't complain. It's on the next screen, but shut up, video game. Stop reading my mind. Okay, I, I, I'm just complaining sometimes for the sake of complaining. Don't listen to me. Bless you. Uh, die. Thank you. Thank you for complying. Oh, yeah, I mean, all my complaints are generally just, like, in-the-moment ramblings. I only complain because I love the game, and there's really not that much to complain about. Let's just be entirely honest here. Mm. 
Mmm, tasty regen. Oh no, you blinded my carcass hellion. Whatever will I do? Bravo. I mean that damage output is bonkers. All right, okay. By accumulation. But you did not need to do that. It's fine. I'll just crit for seventy-one and just we'll just get rid of that real quick. Don't don't worry about it. It's okay. It's fine. Oh, and we're back. God, I love Carcass. I genuinely love this path so much. The fiend's strength it's, dwindled. It still tickles me as like one of the most fun like side grades to a hero in the game. They you get the right stuff on her, she's like nigh attacks. unkillable. It's hilarious. Oh, wow, that was a bad roll. Of all the plus healing stuff going on, that's crazy that we heal for that. Whoa, Bate. You don't get to tickle my fancy. My fancy gets to tickle you. Hey. Do with that information whatever you will, except enjoying it. You can't enjoy it. Not allowed. Took me a minute to get it, but to be honest, she just yeah, it's great. It's great. I love Carcass. I, I love Carcass so much. It's so good. So amazing. Much wow. Like I said, I just hope it's not messed with too much when they go through and like decide to go through Maybe Hellion not. stuff. Like it doesn't need playing with too much. Honestly, it's one of the few paths they got like genuinely right. I say they should bring back the master and apprentice paths. And if you know what those are, you're a real OG of this game. What trophy do we have? Uh, bumper crop. Plus 50% healing received. Argason, I always run it in position one, just because toe to toe ends up putting her there anyway, but you can run her in position two just fine. Alrighty, look at that snappy swig, baby. I love to see it. Oh my god. Oh my god. I mean, this is lightning element is also incredible, but let's let's go. Come on. Let's freaking go. You got anything else I want, big dude? Big Papa? No, nothing else. Okay. Um. Yeah. Does it still have the death blow drawback? The what do you mean the the DB drawback? There's no penalty to death blow resist. If that's what you're asking. Oh 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 oh. Sorry, I thought we were talking about carcass. You're talking about bumper crop. Yeah, it does, but it's been lessened. It's only minus twenty five percent now, not minus fifty percent. My poor snack. My snicky snack. His name is Snorkel. Yes, they did remove the DBR debuff from confession bosses. Finally, an ancient relic of an old system. The face your failure debuff has been removed from the game. It took them freaking long enough, chat. Made sense back in the day. It does not make sense anymore. And it is gone, hopefully for good. Unhinged by the impending apocalypse. The fanatic hey, bud. book and building mm, a life. man. Could have a lot of fun with that, or also plenty of other things here. But alas, I have 
used all of my baubles to kill everything and steal their shit. But thank you for the items. These are these will be nice and helpful. Very helpful. Is carcass something special on toe to toe so you don't have to avoid upgrading it? Yeah, they, they should definitely. Honestly, I wouldn't even mind if they just got rid of the remove winded on it as like as the thing that changes on uh, carcass because that that would be totally valid and fine. You guys want to take on the librarian? I think we can take on the librarian. I think my carcass hellion can take on the librarian, guys. Are you ready? The answer is this team makes the librarian cry in a corner, probably. Maybe not as much as having an alchemist plague doctor, but assuming we can hit, we'll be fine. Game giveaway is not still open, no. We gave that game giveaway away. That game giveaway was given away. Was, was given to the person who won the giveaway by entering into the giveaway. That was what happened. I needed to do another giveaway for Mind uh, your wheels. They have the left to give. other keys I have for DD2. But I want to make sure I include YouTube as well. I should probably start multi-streaming, you know? Probably start streaming on YouTube as well as streaming on Twitch. I feel like we have a lot of friends on YouTube who would like to just watch the streams there. The library you know, burns. there's no reason not to necessarily. So it, like the remains of philosophy, reason. YouTubers, if you're watching this, would you prefer like, would you watch streams if they were on YouTube? Or like, do you end up coming over here? What's your what's your preference? There's no reason I guess there's really no reason not to. It's just a matter of setting it up. Does the chat get combined? I can't technically combine the chat. It's against Twitch's terms of service to combine my chats. Not that anybody's ever going to check that, so I probably could. But with the new multi-streaming rules, that was one of the things that they were like, you cannot combine chats. Does, do a lot of people do it anyway? Absolutely. <laughs> Man, resisting the... Uh, Resisting Bravo. the the bleed there was a really bold move. Really bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off. Oh god, he ignited. I do not recommend confessing to a TLS violation here. I mean, I haven't done it yet. Can't arrest me for conspiring to violate TOS. Actually, they probably can ban me for conspiring to ban TOS. All right, let's just be real here. I do have a lawyer in the chat, so. And all this is completely legitimate legal advice. You should absolutely listen to everything Cinder says and uh, then blame him when it all goes wrong in court. Dissection. Yeah, a sex lawyer, I wish. Because you're a good bloke. I am indeed a bloke. I am a person. Tinder, it is crazy how long you and I have known each other in terms of, like, the streaming world, man. There's very few people left in that original group of people that we, uh... We played, we started streaming around with that are still streaming. Been a long time, buddy. We've been through some shit together. Yeah, the good old monstrosity days. Oh, man. There's a few there's a few people left still streaming from from those days. A lot of them doing really well. The ones that are still streaming partners and all sorts of stuff. Good for them. I was never that successful. Those were the days, man. It, it was a simpler time. It really was a simpler time. It's funny how much has changed. Get over here. Ah, 
this guy just yells really loudly and gets really speedy. Ah, the triple ghastly gruel proc. You'll love to see it. It's all right. Just have your just have your health back, dodge, buddy. In the name of all that is good and holy, continue having your dodge, please. And making it work. Oh my god. The ghastly gruel. Croc. Sorry, my brain sh shut wind. down there for a second. is cool. Thanks, Sam. I appreciate that. Yeah, I thought it was a nice little just a fun little thing to just display a lot of information quickly so that people can kind of figure out what's going on. Probably not the best way to display it all, but it's good enough. That's gonna hurt. This yeah. is no time to falter. Now I don't have to wonder. No, you don't. The information is there, waiting, ready for you. Carcass has ways of self-sustaining, so I'm not super worried about her health. A breakthrough. I'm kind of comfortable with her actually just taking a lot of damage. Well, actually, we can just do this. Yeah, there we go. All right, have your health back. Good job. GG. Of zero heals in your DD1 playthrough? Yeah, he's even more notorious for it in DD1. Really, the best way to play a cultist, in my opinion, is throw him up in rank one or two. Use him for secondary heal or healing where you can, and then just uh, stun with him. Stun, stun, stun. We still haven't seen any of the new trophies yet. He teeters madly upon his ladder, reveling in the fiery destruction of human accomplishment. The fiery destruction of human accomplishment. I love me some fiery destruction of human accomplishment. It's my favorite. Buy all the torches and stunlock enemies of cold of cauldron, yes, exactly. Lots of fun there. The waste of a crit token, that's for sure. It's okay, I've got one here. Enjoy. Lethality writ large. Oh, I get to go again. Oh no, chat, he's coming closer. The slow suffering begins. This categorized could fuck us up pretty bad. Yeah, mmm. That's that's definitely a that's a categorize. I don't like this all of a sudden. We really haven't done enough damage to him at this point, so I'm actually kind of concerned. I'm just a, I'm just a little bit anxious, anxious, anxious.
Yeah, that categorize is really not great for us. Also not great that that keeps wasting our crit tokens, but I mean, whatever, I guess. Extinguished at last. Okay, I'm a little scared now, guys. I'm gonna be entirely honest. I don't like this. I'm gonna keep her locked in, though, just so that way it doesn't screw us over as much when it happens again. No, that was supposed to stress heal, not stress cause. Oh god, this is bad. Everything's bad. Everything that could go wrong is going wrong. There we go. That's like the first crit we've landed on him. But look at that sick regen, though. Also, why do you keep going faster than her? Explain yourself. I need her crit tokens. Okay, she got one anyway, so. Oh, that's not first in turn order. It's just. Yeah. Hellion is really. Yeah, she's really tired of reading. She's like, bro, can you please fucking stop with the reading? I don't need that anymore. Thanks. Resolute, easy day. Slow suffering begins. Always resolute, all the time, always. Yep, less like that. What I tell you, chat? It's as easy as that. I would, I would always highly recommend choosing the resolute over melting down. It's just easier. Um, I don't know why a lot of players like let themselves melt down. It just, it's like a weird. I don't know. It's a weird move to make, you know. Like, we just resolute, like, you win. So just do that next time, okay? But it's an RNG. Uh, skill issue, okay? Forgotten. Some people, right? Flag can't resolute. He can, it's just green. Just green resolute. Easy day. I'm not hard enough, so I like my guys to melt down. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. You guys are just tryhards if you're doing that, all right? It's okay to, like, you know, whatever, but, like, stop being such an elitist and just resolute, okay? If you don't resolute, you're an elitist in this game. As simple as that. You can quote me on that. Put that on Reddit, see what happens. All right. So this is like the easiest fight in the game. It's called uh, Implication. I don't know what they're implying, um, but it ain't anything cool. They're not cool like we are. Okay. your violence and apply it judiciously uh, unfortunately the command only works when it's the only thing in the in the chain sorry is the pee -pee -poo -poo man. there it is i am the pp -pee -poo -poo man thank you for reminding people of that the people forget sometimes you know a brilliant conclusion
Regen C. Easy. And just misfire as well. Like, God, why do people let the cannon not misfire? I, it doesn't make any sense to me. God, some people in this game. Like, well, the cannon went boom. Well, just don't let that happen. Duh. Duh. Fuck, man. Also, just stun it. Uh, people who think this game is hard. It's not. If you think this game is hard, you're just a pleb. Oh, Simple as that. Yo, Hidden Carry, thank you very much for the prime the sub. I appreciate with it. Coin in hand. Welcome on in. Good to have you here. Thank you for the sub. People who follow me are um, obviously good at the game and don't need to like have any worries about being good at the game. They're just good at the game. It's as simple as that. Follow me, be good. We are the flame, burning brightly for all the world to see. I never lose. I've never lost this game. Look at my win rate. All right, look up. Look at my, um, look at my win rate. It's fine. Shut up. Okay, look. A lot of that was testing. Okay, I, I abandon a lot of runs when I'm testing. Okay. Your path lies through I'm a playtester. And so they Which means I'm better fall. at the video game than you are. Alright? Shut up. Shut you shut up. Stop talking. Stop it. I can hear you laughing. Don't do that. Pass and had high omen survive one death store check in the valley. I'm very good. Oh my god, you're actually cracked. Stuff for a bit, and I think you helped me get a bit better at the game. Yay, I'm happy to hear that, Carrie. Uh, been experiencing with a couple arrive. teams, love the concept, my guy. Thanks so much for watching it. I appreciate it. Thanks for the follow and for the sub. That's very kind of you. Of the damned. Make it all the way over here to me, make selling, saying silly stuff like, um, Dependous. I'm cracked at the game when I'm obviously not. But happy to answer any questions you might have, and always happy to try and help people get better at the game. It's, it's a lot of fun to be good at this game. It's rewarding. Like that, like, you know, that I was really hoping we missed all of the attacks. That would have been actually fucking hilarious. Rip my guy. Master stroke. Hey, Henry, how's it going, mate? Welcome on in. Good to see you. Honestly, the off guard giving like the double um, attack from her is like it's not terrible. One less obstacle in our path. Thanks for making a live stream. I'm streaming right now. I thought this was just a recording. That's what YouTube thinks. This team is good, man. This is a fun team. When you got so much DPS like this, like having Carcass is just nice. Genuinely think Carcass is the best tank in the game. Like, no, no argument. Better than Man Arms. Better than, uh, you know what? I would even say better than Flag in a lot of ways. I think flag is great until all of a sudden you have no health and you don't like have a heal lined up or you end up on zero health and your only option is to either pass or damage himself. Alchemist play Doctor, Warlock Occultist, Vanguard Man Arms, and Wanderer Flag. Real good shot at first clearing Ravenous Switch for my first time reaching the mountain of the path. Yeah, yeah, that should be good. Oh, Lapper Power Lapper is very good. I don't think he's the best in the game though. I wish he had another way. I wish with Stan had like a different utility on that. The limitations on with Stan kind of crappy on that path sometimes. But Intimidate feels good, yeah. All 
a vessel? Easy. Ain't nobody able to vessel my hollow. Oh, sh shut up. All right. First of all, fuck you. Second of all, the video game is cheating. Debuff resist. Okay. All right. What's your debuff resist, lady? 30%. All right. Chill out. Oh, my. Okay. You all need to chill out. You all need to take chill pills right now. Excellent work. Yeah, clears dots. Amazing. Stupendous. Well, excuse me, sorry. DD1 Leper hits like a truck on my favorite frontliners. He's great until he doesn't hit anything. His accuracy is no joke in that game. But yeah. <coughs> he is very good. Sorry about the coughing there. No, my void got yawned. Yeah, she's just gonna worship there. Changes to do an Audrey Dismiss Path. Currently watching that video in sections. Yeah, it's very good. They made a few additional changes today. Um, but overall, feeling feeling like a good, positive direction. Focus Ring, my beloved. Yeah, Focus Ring is kind of cracked, right? There's a doggo under my desk. Matt, get better, scrub. Don't miss next time. I will say my front rank damage is definitely where I'm suffering right now. The fiend's strength dwindles. Ow. Dead, that's great. No additional worship, so we won't get exaltation, which is nice. Yeah, obviously that stress ain't great. But how much we can do about it. He's pretty much always gonna haul a vessel, so. Down. Look, I can't get two resolutes in a row. Even I'm not that good. Okay. Well, that's fine. All right, just a 23 heal on Adrenaline Rush. That's wonderful thing. Don't worry about it. Easy day. Excellent work. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay. Oh, the hell is this funny? We are the flame, burning brightly silent for all treatment. the world to see. Probably can't complain about silent treatment, though we already have better trinkets, honestly. The loathing Let's, let me just be real, our trinkets are generally better right now. Haggard, tired eyed, all are welcome here. Flag healing in general is dummy. Flag, flag is just a big dumb dummy who likes to heal all of his health heart. like it's nothing. Invitingly once again. Mm, res wow, limping mule, love that for us. Resolute, zoophobic, vicious, blah, bad digestion, we call it on life. Yeah, boy. Love that. Love Everywhere that. All right. Ruin. Everywhere. Um, need. All right, everybody. I would love to keep going, but unfortunately, I do have work in the morning, and I need to get some sleep. Trying to be good about my sleep. We've been live for over three hours, so we're going to go ahead and call it here, I think. We'll continue this run on Saturday when we go live next. But um, hey, if you're watching this on YouTube, consider subscribing to the channel. It really helps me out. If you're watching this on Twitch and you're not already following here on Twitch, follow. Seriously. That way you won't miss any of my streams. I stream Darkest Dungeon 2 four days a week. So if you like Darkest Dungeon 2, this is definitely the place to be and you should be following. Um, all right. Let's go spread the love to somebody. Uh, see who's streaming Darkest Dungeon 2. Who we can go say hi to. Maybe, maybe make a new friend. Um, love us, love us a new friend every now and again. Uh, let's see here. This person's got a cool little frame going on. Let's see what's going on here. Very unusual uh, that that happens. All right, uh, we're gonna go raid this person. Uh, please be kind, be nice, say hello. There's a raid message that will spam in chat. If you'd like to use that, feel free to do so. As always, I appreciate y'all being here, everybody. Thank you so much for hanging out during the stream. You guys are all awesome. Um, I will see you all when I stream next, which will be Saturday morning. I know a lot of people like the morning streams. It's easier for them to catch. So I'll be live on Saturday morning, 9 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. Uh, until then, I will see you all then. Have a great Friday. Have a great rest of your week. I hope it all finishes out nice and easy. Again, be kind. Say hello. And if you like their content, consider following. I will see you all later. Bye-bye.